In this video, I decided to perform an altered version of the well-known silver tree experiment, which is the reaction of copper metal to an aqueous solution of silver nitrate. For this experiment, I divided the procedure into two parts, each with its own methodology. The first part involves the making of silver nitrate salt using refined silver metal and concentrated nitric acid. The silver nitrate will be then used in the second part for which it involves the final making of the silver tree. This experiment involves the use of hazardous chemicals, hence it is advised to always be guided by a professional in doing the procedures. Thus, wearing personal protective equipment all throughout the experiment is a must for safety protocol. Now, for the experiment proper. The materials needed in making silver nitrate salt are the following. 30 grams refined silver metal, 75 ml concentrated nitric acid, distilled water, beaker, graduated cylinder, Erlenmeyer flask, glass rod, and hot water bath. For the procedures, mix the silver metal with the nitric acid in the beaker. As the silver is submerged in the acid, it slowly dissolves turning the solution color yellow indicating an occurrence of a chemical reaction. To get the reaction going, submerge the beaker into the hot water bath at temperature below 100 degrees Celsius. As the solution heats up, it becomes violent producing a reddish-brown fume. The irreversible chemical reaction which takes place is indicated by the balance equation. It is seen that silver metal reacts with concentrated nitric acid forming an aqueous solution of silver nitrate and nitrogen dioxide gas visible as the reddish-brown fume which is highly toxic. Hence, it is advisable to perform this experiment in a well-ventilated area. Upon continuous heating, some silver nitrate starts to build up in the solution. It then prevents some of the silver metal to react with the nitric acid. That is why it helps by adding water and stirring until the crystals totally dissolve. Continue heating up until the reddish-brown fume totally fades. Let the solution cool down at room temperature. Because the solution is saturated, silver nitrate immediately crystallizes as seen in the beaker. After a few hours, the experiment yields 27.6 grams silver nitrate far from the theoretical yield of 47.2 grams. It is because in the process of heating, I accidentally spill some of the solution into the water bath. Moreover, the yielded silver nitrate is then stored in a light-proof container because of its sensitivity to light. Now, for the final part of the experiment. The materials needed are the following. 17 grams of the yielded silver nitrate, 200 ml distilled water, copper wire, graduated cylinder, beaker, Erlenmeyer flask, sandpaper, and pliers. For the procedures, use the sandpaper to remove the outer layer of the copper wire. Then, shape the copper wire into a tree-like structure. For the silver nitrate solution, I considered making 0.5 molar because with this concentration, the solution is more likely to react faster with the copper. In preparing for the solution, 17 grams of silver nitrate is placed inside a graduated cylinder and added an amount of water raising the solution to 50 ml. With the use of glass rod, stir the solution until all crystals are dissolved. The solution is then poured into the flask and added 150 ml of water giving a 200 ml of 0.5 molar aqueous silver nitrate. For the next step, place the copper tree inside a beaker and slowly add the silver nitrate solution. As seen in the video, the solution immediately reacts forming white layers of crystals on the surface of the copper. As the reaction continues, the solution eventually turns blue. The changes occurred in this experiment is simply due to a single displacement redox reaction of copper and silver nitrate. As it is indicated by the valence equation, the silver ion in the solution gains electron from the copper, making itself a neutral elemental form of silver metal forming the crystal layers on the surface of the copper. 
On the other hand, the elemental copper loses its electrons forming a copper II ion, which is then dissociates in the solution, making it transition from a clear to a blue-colored aqueous copper II nitrate solution. There you have it, our very own silver tree. This experiment is fun and exciting to recreate because of the beautiful chemical reaction it allows us to observe. But always remember that safety should always be first prioritized. That is why for a less hazardous procedure, it is not required to produce homemade silver nitrate crystals for the experiment. Because pure silver nitrate salts are available in the market, only this presentation intended to make its own silver nitrate to illustrate some of the basic principles involved in chemical reactions. That's it! I hope you enjoyed today's experiment, and if you do, hit like and subscribe for more videos. Peace!